how's it going? It's Carter with Jenko, and today I'm going to be doing my first in-depth bait review of the Bizbaits Dizzy Diamond. Um, Bizbaits is an amazing company. I've been using Bizbaits since I was a little kid. Uh, I think literally first time I went bass fishing, I was using a cutter curl on the back of a swim jig. So I've been using Bizbaits for a long time now, so I got a, I got a lot of experience of how I like to fish these baits, where I like to fish them. I just have a lot of confidence in all, all of Brian's baits. Brian's an amazing guy. He comes up to the Schaumburg show every year, and uh, that's how I've gotten to know him over the years. Amazing baits and amazing customer service. But anyways, today I'm gonna be going over the Dizzy Diamond. I won the Junior Bassmaster National Championship on this bait, so I, it's a bait I have a lot of confidence in. It's a six inch shaky head bait. Uh, primarily that's what I use it for. I also use it for uh, a Nico rig, you can use it on a Carolina rig, Texas rig, flick shake, weightless wacky rig, um, drop shot. I, I really like to use it on a, a wacky shot. You just wacky rig it on a drop shot. And something else I've been playing with is throwing it on a Nico rig. You gotta get a, a smaller O-ring though. You can't use your regular size or else it's gonna fall off the bait. But I was up in lacrosse this year fishing the BFLs as co angler and a Nico rig behind the back of the boat is an amazing lure. You know, you just drag it behind the boat. It comes through grass, it comes through rock, it comes through wood because that hook is sitting, you know, a couple inches of off the bottom unlike you know a shaky head that head is dragging and uh you can get a lot more snags but i i really like that nico rig uh, put a 332nd ounce weight in it most of the time and like a little wacky rig hook and if you guys don't want to use an o-ring you can just hook it right here in the egg sack and then when i'm throwing it on a shaky head um when i'm throwing it on a shaky head i'm usually going to go with this this owner hook uh, from my experience, that's probably the best hook I've used for the Dizzy Diamond. I think the hook just matches the size of the bait really well. And I really like to use those uh, twist lock, the CPS springs. Um, obviously, if you guys have ever used those, it's a game changer for the soft plastics. And so I just screw it on there. I'll usually bite off about an eighth of an inch. This hook's a little bent out, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to look a little weird, but... Yeah, I just hook it right there and tuck that hook point in the plastic, and that's how it looks. And that's how it looks right there. Um, I, I know a lot of guys like to use an EWG for their shaky head hooks. Um, I really don't. I think with the spinning rod, you're going to get a lot better hook penetration if you're using a straight shank hook like this right here. You know, I've, I really haven't had any big problems with losing fish on this hook i've used it for a couple years now and uh that's just that's just what i prefer to use with the dizzy diamond so the dizzy diamond is offered in 23 different colors plus the color from his custom shop so right here i got a couple of my favorites you guys are fishing dirty water um like the mississippi um up north when i fished the bfls i was fishing in pool seven eight and nine and that was a lot of panic water uh, if you guys have ever been to Florida, it's similar to that water clarity. And straight black was a really good color for me towards the end of the season. Uh, that, that is a custom color, by the way. So if you guys want to pick that up on his website, you can. And another color that I really like on his custom shop is this color right here. It's called Plum. And story behind the spade. So about three years ago, um, I was at the Schaumburg show and I picked up I picked up one bag of this color. I think he was making it for a custom run for a shop down south. And I picked up uh, one of the bags there and I went down to the Junior National Championship that summer and I threw that color during the tournament and burned through the entire bag and caught a ton of fish on it that we weighed in. And we, we won the Junior Bassmaster National Championship in 2018. And then this year, uh, we caught a couple fish on it during the state championship at Clinton Lake, including a five and a half pounder um, on the Dizzy Diamond. So that was that was a pretty fun day, all thanks to the Dizzy Diamond. And you know, overall, it's just a really good confidence bait for me. As you guys can see, um, the bait, the profile of the tail is a lot different than what you're gonna find in most of your soft plastic uh, shake head style baits. Uh, spaded so 
that's going to create a lot more action in the water. Uh, you guys are going to see that clip right there comparing the action to a different bait. So you guys can see these uh, this ribbed body here. What the ribbed body does on a soft plastic bait is it's gonna create vibrations in the water. If you guys don't know, the fish's lateral line, it detects those vibrations. And that's why a lot of soft plastic companies like to put those ribs in there. If you guys use robo worms, you know there's no ribs in that soft plastic. That's why the robo worm is such a popular clear water bait. And that's why it's really popular down in Cable Rock and those Ozark lakes. And especially in California. This bait right here has got ribs on it, so you're gonna be able to fish it in clear water, dirty water, uh, stain, and if, whatever you wanna fish it in. I've caught them in any water clarity, so it's a really good bait if you guys are trying to fish any water clarity. And I've caught them, I've caught them from the spring all the way to, into the winter on that bait, so it's gonna work for you any time of the year and pretty much any place. The shaky head just in general is, is a really good bait to throw when you guys can't find a bite. So a couple colors that aren't in the custom shop that I like to use, first off is this green punk with blue flake. And I also like to throw just a straight green pumpkin when you're around uh, cleaner water. And then right here, this is summer craw. Really good color if you guys are fishing around the smallmouth. As you guys know, smallmouth love bright colors, especially chartreuse. And I also like to throw it in dirty stained water. And, uh, and that's pretty much all I throw are these these four these four colors right here. You got the plum black. Those four colors right there: plum black, summer craw, and green pumpkin. I like to keep it simple. So if you guys are wanting to buy any of these custom colors that are offered, um, like I was talking about this black and this plum, you guys can check out this custom shop on bizbaits.com. And those are gonna be colors that are there for a limited time only, so grab them while you can. But if you guys wanna buy this bait, you guys can check the link in the description. Anyways guys, hope you guys have a good one and thank you for watching.